Yeah, hello, today we are going to be looking at the growth of tourism. Um, so a few things that have led to the growth in tourism. Um, and we might consider a few things that could prevent that future growth as well. So our three key takeaway points are to describe the rate of tourism growth, to explain the different factors um, in creating that growth, and to consider factors that might prevent future growth in tourism, in particular for a certain nation um, or certain nations. So if you have pen and paper, feel free to jot down anything that we go through. So if we just have a little look at this chart here. So this is just a representation that shows how tourism has changed over this uh, period of time. OK, so we've got over the past, uh, well, it would be 70 years um, and we've got a little prediction into the future. So we can pretty much see that trend has changed massively. So we will look in 1950s. So this is just post World War II. Um, after that anyway, um, that's when we sort to start to see a change begin. OK, um, and we have basically grown quite rapidly from about from about 2000. There's been a sharp increase where we've started to grow up more and more and more. Um, and we are currently at this point here where 1.4 billion tourists or visitors to certain places um, across the world. We can kind of break it up with the continents as well. Um, so certain areas will have more visitors than others. So this just represents that. So we can see that Europe will have a lot of visitors. So we're looking at a huge amount being made up there. Asia and Pacific is one of the second most visited places. OK, but all, all together, we can see that there has been a steep rise in visitors. OK, so this is pretty much going um, from, well, what might be about 10, 20 million in 1950. So very, very low to about 1.4 billion okay, by 2020. So we've seen this rapid change there. Okay, so this growth has been driven by a few different factors. Okay, um, trends are changing in our world um, and we can see it visually here. Okay, um, so we are one of the leading nations in terms of tourism. Okay, um, so let's try and find out why it's certain areas are um, or why tourism has grown so much. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll clear this. So you can think about these different pictures, but each one of those will represent a reason why tourism has grown. Okay, why is it increasing at such a rapid rate? Okay, and this is basically the changes that our world has undergone. So there are quite a few ones that you can um, probably identify from here. So if we have a little look at a few of those. So first of all, we've got an increase. And we'll do this in black. So we'll have an increase in transport. Okay. So this can be road, rail, uh, ship, cruise ships, car. Um, but the world is basically becoming smaller. So transport opportunities are increasing. The cost is becoming less. So we can actually travel uh, across the world at a much, much cheaper rate than ever before. So we can travel to Australia at a much lower rate than we would have been able to do 100 years ago. So the world is becoming smaller. We can travel greater distances at lower costs. So I'll we'll add that point in as well. So we can travel further at lower cost. So this makes the world open to everyone. OK, so. Cost plays a big role, so we'll hop over to this side. 
over here. So this is that increase. We can see money there. So we're actually in a world where we are uh, uh, showing an increase in wealth. And that increase in wealth will often allow us to have a surplus of money. So where we're earning more, we will have a surplus of money, which means we can spend that money on luxury items. Okay. So luxury items and therefore travel will be an option. Okay. So more money means that we have luxuries. We can go and travel places because the cost is going down, but we can also afford to visit certain places. So people want to experience different places um, and that helps drive it, that increase in wealth from a nation. So that's why Europe is one of our highest, um, to, has the highest tourist numbers because people have more money to travel around um, inside and out of Europe. So then we'll have a quick look. Um, this has also changed over time, holidays. So basic holiday allowance. Oops, has increased. Okay, it's higher than it ever has been in the past. Okay, so it's not just weekends, but we now get bank holidays, we get extended holiday periods. The longer you work in a profession or the higher up you go in a profession, earning more money, the more holidays you will get. So that holiday allowance at its highest rate gives us time to travel. So this gives us time to travel abroad okay which is really really useful okay and that can help drive that increase in tourism so then we'll look at the final one at the bottom okay so this is all these different landmarks so landmarks are becoming must-see places through reputation okay you'll hear friend, friends saying have you seen this place have you been to the Eiffel Tower so reputation plays a really big role there and it can often follow trends okay there are places that people uh, would like to visit would like to see so this also comes down to publicity is increasing Okay, and this can be through media, can be through TV. Okay, that publicity of certain places is increasing, so therefore we're aware of it. Okay, um, we might also find that we'll have package holidays to these places. Um, so they exist and are becoming cheaper. So package deals, we can find really good offers and that connects with the amount of wealth that people will have. So we've got quite a few different um, options there as well. Okay, so reputation plays a big role, the ability to see and visit these places and actually get access to them. Okay, um, and our final point, these new places are becoming more accessible. So whereas before these places were not accessible, whether it was difficult to drive to or fly to um, or visit, um, now they're becoming more accessible. One of the places would be Mount Everest or Machu Picchu. Really difficult to get to, but actually now there are Sherpas. Um, communities being built up around that place which allows people to go experience it and visit it okay so accessibility is becoming massive so all of these factors pull together and encourage tourism to grow so therefore what might stop this from happening okay now there are different things so uh, different options that we can look at 
Okay, so obviously if there is a change or so, you might have reputation. So reputation changes, maybe a trend begins to change. Okay, so maybe someone says it's a bad place to go or it's not as nice as they thought. So reputation changes or the trends change. Okay, and I'll link this to popularity. So sites be can become less popular. Potentially, there could be something that will put people offline. So back in the past, terrorism, um, when 9-11 happened, terrorism put a huge number of people offline. So flights literally ground down to a halt, okay? Um, so tourism dropped hugely uh, because of terrorism. You might find that trends change inside the country. So maybe areas become unsafe. Unsafe. Or they might become overcrowded. Too many people. When people go on holiday, they want peace. They don't want overcrowded sites. Okay, so it's very, uh, very changeable. Okay, um, it might be that costs increase. Which puts people off if hotel prices are going up um, because areas are becoming more popular um, people might be inclined to try other places and then the reputation can change okay you go from uh, a popular site to somewhere else which is gaining that popularity so that will experience growth and people will be drawn away from that so there are loads of things that can change that pattern of growth okay and it's basically down to the choices that we make and the decisions we want for our holiday, okay? Um, but tourism is growing, so it won't necessarily necessarily change, but the trend will change from one place to another, okay? And in our recent experience of lockdown, there can be a growing demand for staycation. So these are when people stay in their own country, have a local holiday somewhere where they can drive to and get easy access to, okay, where they don't need to fly. So loads of things can prevent future growth or change it in a certain area, but normally it will uh, follow through certain trends that people will show, okay? So we'll just have a quick summary before we um, end. So we have had a rapid growth in tourism from the 1950s, so post-World War II, okay? And as wealth has increased, um, we've got more information of places, more holiday time given for people and increased access and transport globally into these different sites. This is basically creating growth in tourism. However, there are certain things that might prevent future growth. For example, terrorism, war, reputation change, becoming too expensive or becoming unsafe. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day.